Are the trails open? Are the trails open in Mount Valen? You can see the trees are just absolutely soaked in snow. Sun, blue skies, beautiful trail. Ladies and gentlemen, that right there is a first. Good morning, ladies and germs. Welcome to the 2024 season. Super excited. We uh, made it up to destination Mont Valet. We have an absolutely gorgeous chalet up here. Excited to kick off, kick off our, uh, our season up here. Jess, what's the plan for today? We're gonna be heading uh, through Relay La Chapelle all the way to the uh, Eskumen's Relay for lunch and then coming back. So it'll be about a 300 kilometer day. Good way to uh, break in the sleds and our sleds will probably be pretty close to out of break-in by tomorrow. We had a minor e-link mishap with Mike's sled. Apparently when Mike was pee... <laughs> Mike saying, he goes, don't ever let Mike PDI your sled because he forgot to connect his e-link. So he gets on the sled and he's noticing his Delta helmet isn't uh, getting power. <laughs> the groomer came through here last night and tried to chew up the moguls because basically uh, this trail here gets destroyed by a lot of the bigger paddle, bigger track sleds that take this trail out of the town to get up into the mountain. So the first 10 or uh, 5k or so is usually a little bit destroyed. But here's breakfast. Let's go get some grub, Mike. Just had an awesome breakfast here. Beautiful place. Cafe Giallo. Delicious food. Nice cute little place on the inside here. And now it's time to hit the trail. As you can see, I'm running my GPS here with the trails, but I'm also trying BRP Go. Playing with that today. I'm gonna run both. Okay, seems to be working, cool. Ready to go, Mike? Oh, see, there you go. BRP Go just <laughs> closed down immediately. Yep. You can see the trees are just absolutely soaked in snow. Absolutely loving my MXZ XRS 850. Uh, you guys probably noticed in an earlier um, video that we put out on Instagram, and it's also actually a YouTube short that we made. As a joke, we actually changed my MXZ stickers on my slide to say Renegade. Just because in our mind, a 137 850 has always been a renegade so but it is when you guys see the video if you see it and you're like how do you have a renegade 137 that's an 850 it is an mxz xrs 850. what i can report on is that my sled is handling phenomenally the burst from six inch triple points no surprise are handling really well on this sled even in these conditions where it's a little bit hard and you think it would, it would try to throw you or dart it doesn't at all I'll say it again, but these carbides, the Bergman triple points, just make the skidoos handle so well. And I can only talk for 850s because I don't own a four-stroke skidoo, but they make the sled to me handle really, really well. They, they have good bite, but at the same time, they're not, they don't make the steering super, super heavy. So they just kind of provide that perfect balance for me of lighter steering, but also very, very good bite when you need it. Yeah, so if you guys are thinking about coming up to Mont Valen, this is kind of what you can expect with way, way, way more snow usually. As most of you know, Mont Valen got, and most of Quebec and Eastern Canada, got like torrential downpour of rain. And the fact that they still have snow and you're able to ride is kind of crazy. But it definitely looks like a winter wonderland up here. A lot of Mont Valen is super wide trails. There's some twisty areas, some straight areas. But if you like riding like Northern Ontario and Abitibi region of Quebec, you'll like this area. As we say here at Flood Addicts, Trails Mint. It's so nice to be sledding. Nothing better. As you can see, definitely some bare spots, some icy spots. We got like 60 millimeters of rain in the mountain here, so the fact that they still have a base and snow on top is kind of crazy. 
beautiful day today. It's only about negative six or seven, it's supposed to get up to negative three. And then tomorrow it's actually going to be a high of, I think, one or two degrees. And then now the weather is showing, it looks like there's a possibility, 80% uh, chance of 10 to 15 centimeters on Thursday the 28th, I believe. Which will be great because we're here until the 31st, so that will give us a couple of days of riding with some some nice fresh snow. I assume it's going to snow before then, but uh, a lot of the time it snows at like Willow Le Chapelle or in the mountains and it doesn't even show it on the weather. And the weather also changes like four times every hour. <laughs> so it will remain positive, but even right now, it's good. And here we are. We were here for dinner last night and we're back again. Now time to get some gas and then continue heading east. Is that something they added this year on the G5? Yes sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mike's 900 turbo sounds like an airplane when it turns off. <laughs> As you can see the trail definitely is a little bit icy but there's a little bit of snow on top. It's been crunched up. No cooling issues. No sliding. Sun. Blue skies, sun, blue skies, beautiful trail. Awesome day. For all the sledders that say you need scratchers, take a look at my skid. Lots of snow in there. No issues at all. Well, welcome to the 2024 season. We're up in uh, Mount Valin. This is our first time up here. And we're excited. We've got uh, the 900R out today and Jesse's 850 behind it. Trail's been in really good shape so far. We're on our way to Laskumen. And I'm stoked for the season. It's so good to be back out and riding. And as I've been saying all week, I'd much rather be riding my sled than riding the couch. So uh, we got up, we did the 12-hour drive from uh, Toronto. And yes, it is a long haul, but it's worth it. <sighs> True sled addicts want to get out and ride no matter what. Right, Jess? Yep, we are sled addicts. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're having a good time. So last night we w went out and did a bit of a shakedown run. So I took out the 2024 BC XRS out last night. We went to uh, La Chapelle, the famous Roulet La Chapelle, which I've seen it online forever and I've been saying I wanted to get there. And uh, we made it there for dinner last night. So we were running on uh, fumes, went there for dinner, then uh, went back. So we put on about 80k last night on that sled. It was fantastic. Loving the new 2024 BC XRS. And we'll have some, uh, some cool initial thoughts videos that we're going to do while we're up here coming out for you guys. Obviously putting some initial miles too on the 900R, which is running flawlessly, running really nice. Loving it in the new, uh, in the new G5. It looks beautiful. Jesse and I are loving the uh, hyper silver sleds with the red accents. They look solid. Really nice on snow. Got those new LED handguards too from Skidoo, which I haven't used yet, but I'm going to get familiar with them. It's a pretty cool idea. So yeah, so far so good. We're out riding and we're happy. We're in our happy place. Well, as I said, I'm excited for the season and hope you all are too. We're going to have lots of content to pump out for you all throughout the year. Sled reviews, trips, product reviews. Super happy. I just found out uh, yesterday that I'm actually, or a couple days ago, that I got accepted as a climb ambassador too. So we're going to be trying out some new gear. And I've been wearing their stuff for 15 years. I love it. And hopefully bring you guys some uh, some cool new product reviews too from uh, from the climb lineup. Pretty awesome. I'm just happy that I'm out riding again. I'm here with my boy Jess. How's med school been, dude? It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm considering dropping out so I can sled full time. Jesse wants to be a professional snowmobiler. I'd love really. To. I'd love to. Unfortunately, we uh, unfortunately we can't make money at that. It costs us money. No, <laughs> so. I saw a post the other day on Facebook. It was the perfect example. It said, "What does it feel like to snowmobile?" And the guy said, "Take a thousand dollars and burn it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not cheap the way we do it for sure, but it's fun. And we love it, so who cares? For all the guys that are asking, yes, you can use 850 um, 
the trail seat bag on the 900. The seat is a little bit wider, so it does push in slightly. Yeah, which I don't like. Which That's going to bother me, but thing. it's okay. But because Skidoo says this, that this accessory is not compatible for, for guys that have it, you can use it. Yeah. All right, well, uh, can't put your trail sport bag oh yeah that's another one we got a lot of guys asking about that the trail pro bag the deep snow pro bag they do fit on the back you yeah have to put a little bit of pressure down to get it a lot of pressure a lot of pressure because <laughs> of the taillight, but we've never had an issue and we've been running this actually i'll give you a tip which is easier put your trail pro bag on first then put your caddy on really? it slides in easier Interesting. yeah yeah well it's all working we got lots of fuel because unfortunately where we're going today in the skewmans you can't really get into town because that's at a drop of elevation and they got a lot of rain and they're basically down to the grass so the relay the club relay that we're going to for lunch they do carry a little bit of fuel that we can use but basically between la chapelle and there which is about 140k there's nothing yeah so hopefully we make it back <laughs> all right man let's give her so for those that are wondering, uh, while we have new sleds this year, the one thing we don't have is new GoPros, and uh, our GoPros still suck. They still have constant problems, so here we are at the side of the trail trying to troubleshoot so we can get footage to post to YouTube so you guys can watch it. Yeah, and it's super annoying, and I hate it. <laughs> Huge shout out to the Eskuman Club for providing a great trail with the clearing conditions. Looks like it was freshly groomed last night, just for us. We haven't seen really anyone on this trail. Wow, look at that view. All right, well, we're on the trail here, running through the mountains. Absolutely gorgeous scenery out here in Mount Valet. It's beautiful, beautiful riding. And yeah, conditions are definitely lower snow than what they probably traditionally get, but the riding's still really good really nice elevation you're kind of up and down all throughout the uh, the mountain range which is awesome and we're gonna make our way over to Laskumen today and get some fuel there probably get some food running this uh, 900R today and right now it's all stock we're gonna be working with Chris Ledger this year from Ledger Performance such a great dude I've really become uh, quite friendly with him this year did some fishing together over the summer and now we're into sledding we're gonna do some riding together this year too and he is just a wizard when it comes to uh, basically anything to do with sleds I mean yes he is a 900 turbo guy for sure knows everything about him and he's uh, certainly offered up his expertise to help me and get this thing dialed in and certainly not going to keep it stock. We're going to keep uh, do a little bit of work to it. Some mild tuning. We're uh, looking at the MCS Ex Express kit for it, which is a 210 horsepower kit. So we'll take it from 180 to 200 horse 210 horsepower. And he put a really wicked stud package together, which hopefully you guys saw that video. Wow, is this nice? Woo! Wow. Let her eat, Michael. Just an absolutely beautiful spot running through here in the mountains. I'm so happy. I'm in my happy place out riding again. It's so nice to see some snow. I know we've been hurting back in Ontario and even honestly on the drive up, it was pretty crazy. Like we really didn't see a lot of snow until we got, you know, 20 minutes from where we're staying in Valin. And so it's been a really poor start to the season. So. Bottom line, and we've learned this, you know, years ago, if you want to ride these days, you got to make the trip, you got to make the drive, and you got to chase the snow, and that's what we're doing, so definitely worth the trip up here. We found snow. It's great riding. We're getting some early miles on these sleds. Hopefully, we'll get them broken in. We're up here also to do a little bit of filming for you guys, bring you some YouTube content. We had a real banner season last year. And uh, it was a really fantastic season of growth for Jesse and I. And we even have started getting into creating some specialty products now, which is honestly, it's just evolved. 
and it's all because of our passion for for sledding and we're trying to come up with some cool ideas and some real specialty products that we can bring you guys and bring to market just to help improve the you know your overall sledding experience so we've had our uh, a lot of initial early success with our knee pad kit launch this year we developed a, a premium knee pad kit last year with a, a friend of ours and we've been able to kind of evolve that a little bit and actually make some cool designs with uh, with those pads and have them available for every make and model sled so we do sincerely apologize for anybody who's ordered the last couple of days you're gonna probably get them a little bit late just because we're up here riding and it's time to enjoy the holidays and have a little bit of downtime so so thank you so for the last couple of months you know Jesse and I and you know he's in med school I have a full-time job so we work together every night first thing I do every morning is go to the post office I'm two very good friends one of them specifically now Shiva who's shipped out 500 packages for us this year which is pretty incredible so we've got uh, one of our kind of early fans and subscribers to the channel he's been a huge supporter along the way and he's actually from Montreal super guy Francis Bissonnette he's gonna be coming up here to meet us well you can see we just uh, hit an absolutely gorgeous section of trail here so you're gonna get some stuff that's junky but look at how perfect this is freshly groomed for sure last night and we're rocking and rolling through here and these are my favorite kind of trails it's kind of like a nice big wide logging road and you'll see up here it's gorgeous just running along the side of this uh, lake here so I'm rocking this new uh, 509 Delta helmet as well uh, we got a chance to order one of these carbon fiber editions early on and we're gonna have a full uh, we gotta get some miles on it and do a full kind of review on it as well just some initial thoughts but so far so good this is a really wonderful helmet that gives you all integration for Cardo which you guys know we love and I had a chance just kind of wore it last night and been riding with it today no charging required so one of the things that we always have to do is take off our Cardos into the hotel or even in for lunch and just give them a quick charge no need to do it anymore once this helmet's actually plugged into the sled everything is powered up so you got your electric visor and your cardo getting power so you're never gonna lose battery life at all and that is a big thing with communications that most people have been uh, complaining about even the guys that are using the nuclear stuff I mean sure the battery life is still pretty good on them and we used to get about three quarters of the way through the day before we'd have to put them on a charge but that really is the beauty of this new uh, this new Delta helmet from uh, 509 so I've been really pumped to uh, to get it out and try it and I think we have a winner winner chicken dinner here this is a great helmet the one thing right off the bat that I knew was gonna be an issue with it was the fact that it just doesn't have a peak I love the peak so again when you're riding into the Sun you can just sort of tilt your head down and block out the uh, the reflection from the Sun and it, it does not have a Sun visor which was kind of surprising so I'm hoping that there's going to be a solution we know that there's a couple of different shields available from uh, 509 so we're gonna have to come up with something for that but other than that definitely an awesome helmet one thing I can say right away too is the airflow in this thing's amazing so like I said we'll do a full review on it coming up uh, we're gonna be up here obviously for the week and do some video work so we'll bring you guys a initial thoughts video when we get some time today is fun day ride day man I'm telling you for scenery you can't beat this beautiful so there you go perfect example sun's blasting in my face and can't see shit bienvenue à l'escumin days escumin not really sure how to pronounce it my French is non-existent so you can see Jesse's just giving a little demonstration of smart shocks right here so when he stands on it it's in comfort mode and he starts the sled you're gonna see a drop and there it goes look at how soft it is unreal standard mode and then stiff nice 
Dude. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Put the sled on the side. I'm going to tape it. Ladies and gentlemen, that right there is a first. Oh my god. <laughs> what is wrong with this pick? All right, little duct tape action here. Make sure it's like actually in place, Mike. You... That's what I'm going to do. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be like factory. Right? Ladies and gentlemen, never leave home without duct tape. Okay, my duct tape is garbage. A few moments later. Good to go. You'll try it. I repair job complete. That's about as MacGyvered as I've ever done. Give her the beans. We're back on the trail. I gotta say, that's a first. In 25 years of riding, we've had, you guys know we put the miles on, we've had a lot of sleds. And honestly, we don't, really don't have, I would say the last like five, five to eight years with kind of like the newer sleds, we really haven't had a lot of problems. Really, it was just Jesse's 18 that was a, a huge, a huge piece of junk. But in all the years I've been riding, I've never seen what happened, what just happened to Jesse happen. So all he did, and this has nothing to do with conditions whatsoever, but all he did was do a bit of a wheelie and he came down on, on the ski and it actually snapped right in the front. So good thing I actually had some duct tape. So you guys can see right there, I, uh, I duct, <laughs> duct taped it up for him and it's great. And honestly, I mean, you guys see, Yes, there were some sections of the rocks and stuff, but that did not happen. That happened here, and the trail out here is perfect. So, that's a first sled addict start to the season. So, day one, we have no E-Link connected, my fault. And we have a Snap Pilot X ski. Lovely. And that's what it's all about. Ski's mint, and he's back on the trail. A few minutes later. It looks like my duct tape job didn't hold. What an absolute gong show. Uh, you know what, dude? I don't think it's actually that bad. I think you can ride it the way it is. All right. Adventures with sled addicts. As you can see here, my ski from the loop, from the base of the loop all the way forward is non-functional. And the ski, the front of the ski is in the air and it handles great. It actually saves a pound or so, so if you guys are looking for uh, ways to lighten up your front ends, this is definitely something to look into. Look at this. Wow. So we're just coming uh, coming into Les Escumen. I think that's how it's pronounced. We should be a couple of kilometers out now. A really beautiful section of trail here coming down the side of this river. And uh, all the rain and kind of the warmth weather just sort of broke up all the ice. And you can see all the shards along the, uh, the side of the river. Doesn't really look like there's too many folks here, but this is where we're going. Hopefully we're open. All right, Jess, that was a pretty good first ride. You ready to stuff your face? We're finished lunch. As usual, we're both uncomfortably full. Now we have another 150k around to get back into Vallon. We're taking the 93 now, going through the south end, and then coming back into Relay Le Chapelle. We'll fuel up again, and then finally back to our chalet to relax. We had an awesome lunch here at the uh, Club Sportif de Boulot Blanc, uh, their relay over here. Super nice people on the inside. They literally have to sled here in order to service this place. They're also here, 24, 25, and 26. Yeah, right They're through the holidays. Place. It's actually open right through the holidays for food. And they even also have a little bit of gas because you, as we mentioned earlier in the video, you can't actually get into the town of the humans because there's lack of snow. So yeah. this place is awesome. Both super nice people. If you're in the area and you can stop by, definitely stop by and support them because they're deciding to spend their holiday out here to support you guys. Yep, pretty awesome. Great place. All right, let's give her. Look at those mountain tops on the right. Wow. So now we're on the 330 trail and we're making our way uh, towards the 93, which I think we're going to meet once we get to towards Sacre Coeur. 
Obviously, we can't go into Sackle Pro because there's no snow, but uh, yeah, that's where we're going to be meeting the 93 trail in uh, about 25k or so. Just coming into kind of the evening now, it's a perfect time. Start to get a little bit colder, but this is my favorite time to ride just as the sun's coming down. And man, through the mountains here, like it's just, I mean, that's incredible. So nice. Jess, how's your ski? My ski's Oh my god, what a trip. That's wild. That's definitely a first. I've never seen that happen. Alright, well as you can see, the sun is down. We're running through the beautiful mountains here in Quebec, uh, just coming on the 90, coming into relationship again on the 93 trail. And I gotta say, the the loop that we did on the way back here was superb. Conditions were amazing, really fast running and super wide. My kind of trail. I just love those uh, logging road style trails that are really nice and quick. And it's been a great first day, great first ride. Jesse and I are having a blast. And I feel bad for the rest of the crew that didn't make the trip, but it is what it is. They're missing out on a good time. Yeah, as we get closer to uh, Relais Chapelle and into uh, Vallon area, it's definitely gonna be more snow. There's more snow in this area for sure. Okay, so we arrived back uh, at our chalet here at Destination Mont Valen. What a great day of riding we did. How many K, Mike? 360K today, which was pretty good for our first, probably first big ride of the season. Trails were really good. Um, obviously early season conditions because they lost a lot of snow with the rain. Uh, rocks here and there, but we didn't have any issues with cooling. Um, we did have an issue with the ski. Uh, <laughs> that was probably the first I've ever seen a ski snap. Never, I've never had a ski snap I've in my life. I've never seen that happen before. Yeah. Uh, we didn't obviously catch it on video, of course, when it happens, because you never catch the best stuff. Uh, but basically, it must be a, fa a manufactured defect of some sort, because yeah. we were stopped, and I hit the gas on the sled to lift the skis a little bit, and as soon as I came down, it snapped. And it, like, perfectly snapped. So I was a little concerned. We taped it up, as you saw. Tape didn't hold, and um, it just let it kind of flop around the rest of the day, and it caused no issues. We did another 200K after that, and it was fine. Um, and I was thinking I might actually leave it on for the rest of the trip, but as usual, because we're nuts, and we have spares of everything, Mike has a full set of Pilot X skis here, so we'll just swap a ski on, get through the rest of the trip, and then hopefully get a new ski from our dealer, Team Vincent, once we're back home after the trip. Yeah, yeah. and hopefully get that warranty through the, through the dealership. Shouldn't be a problem, but definitely have never seen that happen in 25 years of riding. It was like a clear break right uh, right at the front of that ski. So, Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let, let us know what you'd like to see from us this season in terms of video. And hopefully we can get that done for you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. It's time for bed. <laughs> definitely. <laughs>